Well, this video is pretty much a rant. I'm getting greatly ticked off about the fact that when um, I'm tuning in to like uh, radio shows or looking up stuff on the internet and people are constantly saying, oh, well, um, I see Bigfoot all the time. Bigfoot comes around my yard. I mean, he was two feet away from my kids. Uh, Bigfoot, you know, he usually hangs. I mean, like he stands by this tree all the time. I mean, he likes to play around this uh, creek or he likes to play around this little pond or I see him all the time and uh, you never get any evidence never 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 it's like there's always some freaking excuse talking about oh uh, he doesn't like uh, binoculars oh he doesn't like uh, cameras he doesn't like this he doesn't like that and it's like they have new technologies that you tell me you can't put on a concealed camera a little hidden little camera right there, a little pinhole camera on your uniform to see the damn thing. I mean, hell, you could, they got caps with freaking cameras on there. If you're so confident that you're actually seeing Bigfoot, if you want to bring this evidence to the world, then go for it. Just don't bullcrap people all the time. It just, I just, to me, it just seems like lies. But it's just me. I'm not perfect. Now, other thing is Bigfoot or any of all these other creatures, are they actual biological creatures or are y'all going to turn them to freaking unicorns? I mean, is Bigfoot uh, a mystical thing that can do all these magical things and can uh, have, uh, is telepathic and can read your thoughts and you can communicate? I think something like that, that could read your mind and do all these spectacular things like that should be able to be, it should be living in a freaking hut by now. I mean hunting with bow and arrows I and mean, because it, it was showing higher intelligence that's that is way beyond normal mental capacity to be able to do that read thoughts so people who say oh Bigfoot comes to me in my dream and talks to me and all that crazy th stuff like oh Bigfoot's about hope and love and peace and all this stuff it's just for me it messes up the field and it makes people look like wackos to me now I just want people to actually try to get hard evidence and not sit there and get on these radio shows or, or host their own damn shows and talk about their experience with Bigfoot because I am so special that Bigfoot only comes out to see me. Everywhere I go, Bigfoot only comes out to see me. I mean, all these other people go out in the woods, Bigfoot doesn't see them because they're not worthy. But I am so pure of heart that Bigfoot wants to see me quit. All it is, is some people trying to fill this void and make themselves seem more significant in life. And you need to go see a freaking psychologist to make yourself feel better. Look, I believe the creature is out there. I believe it wanders the woods. I believe that Bigfoot has intelligence. It has great senses. It can smell you a mile away, for miles away. It can hear you from miles away it can move and get up and go nothing more than that it just takes real people to get out there and actually look for this thing and find evidence and this is pretty much my rant I could go on pretty much forever about these things because it does really piss me off when people just throw bullshit on the airways about their wonderful encounters with Bigfoot that did yet fail to bring evidence even though they've been seeing Bigfoot for freaking 20 years but yet fail to get any type of solid evidence oh quit making up the excuses either you've seen it or you're not or you haven't just quit taking up people's time with your bull crap we want real evidence we want real sound sound mind people out there investigating this thing and we don't need you to waste our times and make everybody in this field look like a bunch of wackos and i am out peace and love and all that other happiness shit